All right, guys, today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to sharpen a knife with a sharpening stone. And this is a dual grit sharpening stone. It's got coarse on this side and a little bit finer on this side to dial in that edge. I've already done these two knives. They came out good. You can kind of see the edge on this knife. Came out real nice. By the way, this is the Civivi Elementum with a wood grip finish. This is the Benchmade Bug Out. And this is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. And this is the knife that I'm gonna primarily be working on today. Um, the edge is just super old and it needs a lot of work. So that's what I'm doing today. You can send the Benchmade knives in, but that just takes a long time and I don't wanna wait on my knives. So I have a sharpening stone that I got from one of my old man friends that uh, he hooked me up with. So anyways, to start, you always wanna start on the coarse side. If your edge is still good, you can get away with just going on the fine side. But for this knife, the edge is so bad on it, we need to start on the coarse side. So me, I like to put down some paper towels. I like to have a microfiber handy. And I like to use a little bit of WD-40 as a lubricant. So I'll do just a light glaze over the stone. And then I'll do a light, uh, put just a little bit on the blade there. And it might be hard to see in the camera. If you lay your knife flat on the stone, you wanna lift it up until you see no gap between the blade and the stone. And that's the angle that you wanna do your strikes at. And you wanna do 10 on each side um, to keep the cut even of the blade. So anyways, we're gonna start here, and this is my angle. And you never want to go off of the stone because that'll roll your tip and so you want to start at the back do a nice strike 10 times okay then you check your edge it's looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side. Always be careful when you're coming towards you. Like I said, lay the blade flat, tilt it down to where you have no gap, and strike away. Okay, obviously you do that as many times as you want. Go on ahead and flip the stone to the smooth side. Take your microfiber that you got out and wipe your blade off. Check your edge. It's getting better for sure. Still needs more work, but for video purposes, I'm gonna go on ahead and switch to the smooth side. Let's take some nice double D, lube it up again. And then you wanna repeat the same process on the smoother side, on the finer grit side. You technically don't need to use a lubricant. I just like to use a lubricant to cut down the noise a little bit and make the knife slide a little bit easier on the stone. One more, that'll be about 10. Check that edge and the smoother grit side will really give you a nice uh, mirror finish on that edge. That looks pretty decent, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Repeat the process. And remember, you never wanna go off of the stone because that'll roll your edge. So every time you stop, you wanna keep it right where it needs to be. And the whole point of the uh, different grit stone um, for example, this mini griptilian that I'm sharpening right now, it was very, very messed up. So I don't know if you'll be able to see in the, oh yeah, that sucker's getting sharp. Right on. Let's see if it'll cut through this. Ooh, yep, sure did cut right through that sucker. 
So anyways, the purpose of the coarse thread, this knife in particular, I don't know if you can see, but it was very messed up. The blade was chipped and just all sorts of stuff. And so I used the coarse thread to basically put a whole entire new edge on it. Imagine taking a grinder and just grinding it down to a nice point to get all those jagged edges out and then starting over. That's what the coarse side is for. Once you get your edge looking good and the way you want it, that's when you flip over to the uh, finer grit side of the stone and really put that nice edge on it. And I'm telling you, you can get these things sharpened down to a razor. It just, I mean, this knife right here cut my hair smooth off. So anywho, that's how you use a stone to sharpen a knife. Thank y'all for watching.